Hello boys and girls, welcome to my shop. Let's do some science. I decided that I really ought to uh, actually test how much torque I can apply to my lead, my lead screw with uh, this setup. Um, and then I remembered, golly, I had a old school uh, inch pound, actually Newton meter as well, torque wrench that uh, um, that I bought at least 30 years ago. And uh, so, to review, here's this lathe spindle, drives through these toggle gears, this stud gear, which which has this timing pulley adapted to it, driving the encoder here one-to-one -one through a timing belt. Encoder goes out to the micro-stepper controller that's down there. It drives the stepper motor back up here that's mounted to the banjo. You can see that the encoder's mounted to the banjo as well. This is a two newton meter stepper motor with a 20 tooth timing pulley on it driving a 100 tooth timing pulley on the lead screw. So two newton meters, five to one we should see 10 Newton meters up here on our little torque wrench. What you're hearing there and seeing is the driver objecting to me telling the motor to go where it's not supposed to be. And uh, I can keep, uh, uh, I can fight it, I can force it. And uh, it goes back to where it wants to be. Okay. If I push this too far, it will fault and uh, shut itself off. And the only way to get it back is to cycle the power. There is no provision, no control input on the, con on the controller that allows you to reset it when, uh, when it's been when it faults out um, for too large an error. I'm not sure exactly how many counts uh, that takes, um, but it's, you can see it's, it, it's a fair amount of travel there. That has good and bad aspects. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I was turning a, an 8 thread per inch Acme screw uh, the other day and noticed some hiccups. Well, this is what was happening. It was stalling in the cut and then uh, uh, recovering and catching back up. So there were some small hoop de doos in the thread. So I thought I really ought to measure this. I also decided that I I needed to gear it down further. I had four to one here. I've got five to one now. I've got the pulleys and belts to go to six to six to one and eight to one um, and see how those work as well. Um, so well let's see how many Newton meters of force we can get from this motor and five to one reduction. Let me see if I can zoom in here and focus, focus. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. You can do it. Well, okay. Here goes. 
Let's see where where okay. Let's force it through and see what we got right there. Oh, that looks like ten to me. Or about seventy-five inch inch pounds of torque. So we know that the that we're within spec on the uh, motor. Um, I hope you thought this was interesting, and uh, and we'll come back and see what I'm up to on the next installment of uh, of well. Whatever you call this, I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's right. Science! <laughs>